In the war in Gaza, the White House says Israel has not crossed the Biden administration's red line. This as Israeli forces push deeper into the city of Rafah just days after an airstrike killed dozens of Palestinians. NBC's Raf Sanchez reports from Tel Aviv. With Israel stepping up its military offensive in Rafah and Palestinian civilian casualties growing, the White House is under mounting pressure to explain what is President Biden's red line and has Israel crossed it? John Kirby, a spokesman for the National Security Council, saying the president does not want to see large numbers of Israeli forces going into the heart of Rafah and causing major damage. But he was asked, how many charred bodies does the president need to see before he change his policy. Now that comes after that major firestorm at a camp for displaced people caused by an Israeli strike on Sunday night. At least 45 dead. The Israeli military releasing an initial investigation into that strike. They say that they used two small bombs to target Hamas commanders inside of that camp, but that a secondary explosion caused that massive fire to break out. Not clear at this point, they say, whether that was Hamas weapons hidden inside the camp or something like a gas tank igniting the flames. The Pentagon is also confirming an NBC News report that the U.S. has been forced to suspend aid deliveries into Gaza by sea after the American temporary military pier off the coast of the Strip suffered damage in bad weather. The Pentagon saying it'll take at least another week to repair. Raf Sanchez, NBC News. Tel Aviv. Israel today says they have taken control of Gaza's entire border with Egypt and an official yesterday said their war with Hamas will likely last through the end of the year.